Now this is going to be a very quick voiceover. Um, something I noticed about this session, although it was very quick, um, I had no shoulder issues and I think that's because I'm cutting out low bar squats for a while and I'm switching up my stance for my bench press because the whole arch thing is not working for me. I have to bench almost like a flat back like you see right there and I felt no shoulder pain. I felt pretty strong right there for eating like crap all weekend. And uh, yeah, so I think that's something I'm going to be continuing to do. Um, Devin, yeah, I need to catch up to his strength because he is one strong dude. I'm thinking about going into a bulk maybe uh, in the next month or so. Maybe not too crazy, 5-10 pounds, but uh, I think I'll benefit greatly from uh, just the extra weight on me. So helping me also uh, progress in my bench. But that's going to be it for this voiceover. Hope you guys do enjoy the uh, food challenge in just a minute. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right, so this workout isn't going as planned. We I originally wanted to get here earlier and get a real workout in with Devin, but um, I have to get I have to be out of here by four. And we only have about I only have about 20 minutes before I have to hit the road and go on home. Oh, I kind of wish we just got here earlier, but um, it is what it is. So we just got done killing bench. Um, I, I I hit 275 for a triple paused, which is pretty cool for close grip. Uh, having you know been having shoulder issues, so hopefully I can fix that and uh, switch it up and. Um, it works works out for that, but we're gonna go to do some push downs and uh, yeah, go from there. Well, we need to kick it immediately. All right, guys, so it is 547 and I am doing my last food challenge of this weekend. Um, I've, I'm about two hours away from Devin's uh, house. I left uh, after the gym. Uh, we didn't really get that good of a workout in. I mean, we got a good chest workout in, but it wasn't uh, a lot of workout because uh, the time had to be so uh, small. Um, I don't want to be on the road till 10 o'clock at night. Right now it's 530. It looks like I'm probably gonna be on the road till 10 o'clock anyways, but we're in Sarasota. Florida at the restaurant called Burrito Mexican Grill. Now they offer a eight pound burrito challenge and it is undefeated. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I saw the pictures of it. The pictures look ginormous. Um, I think it's around 20 or 30 people have tried and failed. Oh, so let's see if I can make this. I don't know, I think I'm at 13 uh, wins. So let's see if I can do this. I'm um, pretty hungry right now. Um, yeah, so let's go inside and check out what this burrito looks like. So this place is called the Burrito Mexican Grill in Sierra Costa, Florida. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Small little Hispanic restaurant, Mexican restaurant. Here's the outside. Uh, it's pretty nice inside, it's cold. It's gonna make good for uh, this food challenge so it's not hot and I don't start sweating. Here's the inside. Yeah. Got the bathrooms back there, got the grill back here. And this is a little dining area and this is where I will be attempting the challenge. Right here. And on the menu it even says, it is called the Mango Burrito, eight pounds, the biggest burrito in Florida. Challenger, Challenger has one hour to clear the plate. If Challenger conquers, it's free. We will pay you $50 and it is undefeated. So let's be the first one to do it. I've already placed the order. Now I had a choice of between chicken, beef, or pork. I chose ground beef just because I feel like it's gonna be easier to eat. Um, this is eight pounds and also this entails, if I do win, I win $50 in cash. The burrito comes free. Um, and I get a free meal for a full year, once a month. I don't live here, but that'd be pretty dope if I did live here. So it's gonna be about 30 minutes before it comes out, so I'm just gonna kick it, wait, and uh, just uh, get ready for this challenge. So, see you guys in just a few. All right guys, so this is the eight pound burrito challenge. Like I always say in all these challenges that I do, that it always looks bigger in person. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this cool down for just a couple minutes, take a picture, load it on Instagram, and uh, <laughs> take off from there. So I'll set a timer and uh, let's be able to get this. 
All right, guys, so we are about to start this. I have one hour to complete it. I'm gonna have a timer on it, and she's gonna have to put a timer also. So, um, we go three, two, one, start. So I just started mine. Um, do you have a spoon, by the way, also? Yes, yeah, it's a spoon, please. burrito up close guys this is a really big burrito Most of the filling is gone. Now I just have this tortilla left, and right now I am in 11 minutes. 11 minutes in, and the burrito is pretty much gone. Let's just take out the tortillas and uh, call it a challenge. Bye. The last bite. How many seconds? How many minutes? Fifteen minutes, nine, nineteen seconds. Fifteen, yeah. And that is my time, guys. Yes, that was a good burrito, though. It was really good. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for the uh, he, he's eight pound monster. Wow. That's you're our hero. This is great. All right. So that burrito went down pretty quick. I didn't expect to eat it that fast, but it was really good. Um, there was nothing bad about it. So it went down so good. That's what made it. Uh, that's what made it so able able to eat. Well, I can't even talk. But I did win a t-shirt. This is the t-shirt I won. And I did win $50. So I got $50 for eating a burrito and a free meal, which is pretty cool. So that's gonna end my birthday weekend. Unfortunately, we did not go to Comic-Con, me and Devin, because um, the weather, the weather's been pretty crappy in Tampa. But um, there's always next year, and we'll plan it uh, accordingly uh, a lot better uh, next time we ch do an event or something like that. But I do have a four-hour drive home, so I am driving home with a full stomach. I feel good. Can't wait to get home and in, in my own house and just sleep. And um, it's back to reality tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys enjoy that crazy, this crazy whole weekend of challenges. And um, yeah, so I'm dieting for the rest of the week. I'm not doing any challenges, probably till Friday, and then uh, just go back to my normal diet because I gotta burn all this extra calories off I've gained from this weekend. But thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next video.